we had discussed just more security and something that was u unified for the district. Really, each building had their own separate intercom systems, separate phone systems, nothing really tied together in the district as a whole except for our network. Turned into a master plan of not just security but other needs. But in that master plan, our security needs really showed up. The goal was really to simplify our systems, integrate our systems, and, and make them usable for the people who were really going to use them. So we did not have a, a functioning whole school-wide intercom system, and so the new intercom system allows us to uh, communicate everywhere inside and outside the building so that everybody can hear if we need to go into a lockdown situation. And in classrooms, it's a digital system that allows um, messages to be up there. So for a, like a lockdown procedure, for example, um, that message can be um, broadcast into all the rooms, both um, over the intercom system and visually on the um, digital readout. We have all new cameras and security system inside the school and outside the school uh, for surveillance 24-7. These cameras um, are really clear and crisp and you can see people and have a lot more um, features in terms of searchability and accessibility. For example, you could say, I want to know in the past 24 hours, I think there's someone suspicious outside the building and I heard he had on a red shirt. So I could search um, male, red shirt, past 24 hours and it'd pull up all images from all cameras that match that. We have a new key card system where staff will uh, use the key card identification. The nice thing is on the back side of that we can log when they came into the school and we know exactly who's been in the school. Um, our teachers now have, have doors that lock from the inside. They don't have to step out in the hallway and should we go into a lockdown. Um, they can lock their doors from the inside. So early on in the design process, um, some of the students and community members had a chance to kind of give their input on uh, what, what aspects of these renovations were important to them and how it best fit uh, their local community here. I think it's really cool. It's really cool to help design it and then see it come to life. Now that the changes have been made, the school is a lot safer and it also looks a lot better. Attention that would normally or previously have been spent on safety issues, I'm now able to focus on students and academic preparation. With the measures that, that this, these systems have allowed us to, to put in place, um, we're able just to kind of derail that before it happens. Everything you can do to make people feel more secure provides a greater learning experience. Now that these safety measures have been taken care of, I'm able to focus more of my time on ensuring the academic preparation of our students, which is why we're here and what we need to focus on. I'd really like to thank uh, the, the best program, Building Excellent Schools Today, uh, sponsored by CDE in the state, through their local match to make this happen. They're funded by the Colorado State Land Board, School Trust Lands, the Colorado Lottery, and excise taxes. I'll go into I'll go into doing that. Just a huge shout out and thank you to all of those agencies that make this happen, that really make modern schools and safe schools and, and schools that kids want to be at a part, of, a, a part of Colorado schools today. So thank you.